Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray and Luna here and we are going to be making pasta carbonara. Uh, pasta carbonara is a very easy dish to make and um, the only re real requirement is spaghetti, uh, parmesan, bacon, and egg, and also a glass of wine because you really can't cook without wine. Tonight I'm having a Chianti and it pairs very well. It also pairs well when you have a very stressful day and you're hungry. It's almost nine o'clock at night. I need, I need some food. Very sharp knife, chopping board. Garlic, Parmesan, bacon. If you're using the stuff that's in the can and you're not using a block of Parmesan, throw it away and get yourself some real Parmesan, seriously. Life changing. Okay, my dog is gonna be in the background because she's hungry, right? She's always hungry. Um, if you're watching this video, it means that something has happened and call the police. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, it most likely means that uh, I don't have anything else to show you guys, so I want to share my love of cooking and my dog with you all. Um, apologies about lighting and all that. This is not my normal setup. If you're here and you're here for the first time ever, please don't judge my videos on this one. Um, I hope everybody is having a great day today. I am. I don't know why my knife is not very sharp today. It's odd. If you're wondering how to sharpen a knife, you need one of these things. Hopefully that'll work. <laughs> Kinda. It's very sinewy. Yeah, forget about it. Alright, so I've chopped up my bacon and I'm going to fry that in the frying pan, which I have on high heat. I also have my water on high heat. This is boiling, but I need to fill it up more. It's not quite halfway. Uh, when it comes to pasta, you want as much water as possible. You want it to be swimming in the water. You don't want it to be bunched all up together. There's a guy that I watch about cooking Italian food. He's a, geni he's a genius. Um, if I remember who he is, I will link him down below. I'm gonna do one more kettle full. Uh, I believe this is about a liter or a liter and a half. So three liters of water. It's impossible for me to show you, but basically I'm gonna do Two cloves of garlic. This garlic came out of my garden. Uh, garlic is very, very easy to grow. Literally, if you have a piece of garlic that has gone green and the stem has started to shoot out the top of it, you can plant it in the ground in like November and it'll come back up the next year and be ready to eat by June or July, depending on where you are in the world. Anyway, Remove garlic from the clove. I like to smash it. How do I show you this? Hang on. Oh, that works. Okay, you want to smash it? Smash it with a hammer. Smash it more. Just so that you can get the peel off. should be smoking now. So I'm going to go ahead and 
put in the oil and then throw in the bacon, which you can see it here, yeah? Olive oil, not crap oil. And splash in. Twirl it around. Oh, that's too much oil. Hey, too much oil. Too much. Started smoking straight away. You don't want that. <laughs> okay, in it goes. And wash your hands. I thought there wasn't enough light in on the subject. Check it out. So, we're just going to fry this up. That's enough for me, but it might not be enough for you. You can put in as little or much bacon as you so desire. Here's the last bit of water. And it's go time. Grab the amount of pasta that you want to eat. Remember, there's no such thing as too little pasta. Sorry, there's no such thing as too much pasta. There is definitely a thing as too little pasta. And it takes a while to cook. It takes about seven minutes. We want it to be al dente. All right, I'm gonna turn down the heat. I've got a good crisp on it, but I don't want to burn it. So I've turned it down to low. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to mince the rest of this garlic. And as we're doing that, I'm just take some more wine. Oh yeah, that's definitely the step that you need when cooking Italian dishes. Right, Laura? <laughs> All right. So inspired by my friends making cooking videos. And then I was talking to Becky from Be Becky's Madness for Crafting. And I was like, I love watching your videos, but I don't think I would be good at it. And she was like, no, you have to do it. So here I am. <laughs> All right, bacon's done. Very good. Now, I'm killing the heat, and I'm gonna move on to the next stage. Next stage is where you need your egg and your Parmesan. So, first up, get an egg, preferably an egg from your backyard chickens, if they're not dead. Rest in peace. These eggs are not the same at all. The shell is awful and it goes everywhere. Anyway, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I hope you can see that I'm always washing my hands. <laughs> That's very important. Okay, so we've got one egg. You can do one egg and one yolk. Actually, that's a good idea. We'll do one egg and one yolk. Another egg. I'm gonna separate. Can you see what I'm doing? No. Do, 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 do. Don't judge me. I live here. Okay, I'm getting rid of the white. Plop it in there. When did I put in the pasta? It wasn't too long ago, okay. So we've got one egg and one yolk in this. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, good. And then, this. This is a microplane. I bought it from a shop in the States and brought it back with me because I couldn't find it in Irish shops. Can you believe it? It's actually really hard for me to find things in our shops. Um, probably because I'm not from here. Anyway, you just go back and forth. Oh, another thing that you might notice from me is that I don't measure anything. 
Um, I don't measure when I cook. I measure when I bake. Cooking is not exactly a science as much as baking is, so you can change the cooking while you're doing it. Like you can taste as you go, but with baking you can't do that. So you have to be exact. So I like to just eyeball everything. Basically, I think it says like a quarter of a cup or a half, sorry, a half a cup of Parmesan, but I like to go a little bit overboard on my cheese. That's how you get thick. All right, so. Yep, thick like me. All right, so that's that. Put the pound one back. And the pasta's doing really well. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mixy mixy, but where is, there they are. You don't need salt because you've got bacon. <laughs> That's basically salt. All your sodium is in your bacon. All you need is fresh cracked black pepper. Don't be shy, you stick it all in there. Okay, now we need to should be thick and gloopy like that. I know it looks pretty gross, but it's actually delicious. Take another sip of your wine. Cause we're about to get intense. All right, let me lift you up. So Luna's still here with me. So basically what you wanna do, sit. You want to have the pasta cook the egg. So the pan should be a medium heat. The pasta should be hot and the pasta should cook this not pan. Does that make sense? It's um it's really difficult. Okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the burner again if I can. Bang it. <laughs> All right. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. This way. I'm going to get all the garlic in there and get it nice and delicious. Luna went and sat on a chair. Luna. You're my, you're my co-host. Her fur is going all over the place, so please excuse that. She should. Yeah. And isn't this, do you not agree with me that this floor is disgusting looking? I'm renting, so. I know. Yeah. We're cooking. If I could, I would change it. In fact, I thought about just doing it on my own without telling anyone. But how do you do that with a dog and a husband? Maybe I need a staycation. If you have ideas for how I could pull off changing the entire floor for very little money, please leave it in the comments. I'm sure one of you has seen a video or something on how to do that. So I would love that. I've heard that you can paint floors. Can you paint linoleum? Because this is a crack linoleum. And also, you can see that my cabinets are all pine, so anything that will go well with this uh, piney color. I was also thinking about painting it white or like a charcoal gray. Love that idea. But then, if I do either of those colors, it's gonna look stained, right? 
So any professional tips would be highly, highly prized. Okay, so let's check on our nudes. So I'm going to do the, I'm pretty sure those are done actually. All right. So the method that my mom used when I was a kid, hi mom, is let me know if your mom did this too. You take a piece of spaghetti and you throw it. And if it sticks, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I saw you cringe, Mrs. Coffee. I did. If it sticks, then you're good. I think it's good. So I'm going to turn that off. Empty the water. And throw it right into the pan. Turn that off. This is where things get a bit fast paced. water, at least some of the water, maybe not all the water. So we put the pasta into the pan. Whoa. You want to, you want to drain off the water first. I did watch an Italian chef do this, so the pasta kind of Brings down the temperature of the pan. Okay. Brings down the temperature of the pan. You keep stirring it, get this in there. This is where things go really quick. So, plate. Plate, mixture, dump it in on top of the pasta. See how it's not sizzling? I'm still perfecting this, but I think I got it down. Okay, and then swirl. Flip. You want to keep it in the pan as long as you can before it turns into scrambled egg. So my egg is now cooked. You can't see it. I'll show you in a second. The egg is all cooked, but it's not a scrambled egg. And I think that's the hardest part about pasta carbonara is knowing the right temperature to stop. So there we go. Let me see if I can bring you into the light. Maybe Oh, it gets brighter. Here we go. Ta -da! Hopefully you can see that. My beautiful carbonara. Oh, so cheesy. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite dishes of all time. Uh, and I know that's a lot. That's a lot for one person. But more pasta is better than less pasta because at least you can tell yourself to stop. Or that's what I say. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I don't know if it helps or not, but definitely try to perfect at least one dish um, from scratch. That is, my, that is my one piece of advice for everyone. You should have at least one thing that you can cook from start to finish from scratch with no additives or anything. So that's, that's one of my one dishes. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching everybody. I'm gonna go eat my dinner and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye.